Well, I always, I've always liked theater and just, you know, stuff with acting. So for me to be a part of it, it's kind of, you know, like my dream to be in a part of something like that. And the fact that I was, it's just like being in a project like this, it's like a step forward to where I want to go. In the fall of 2016, 31 middle and high school students from Hopewell, Virginia spent eight weeks immersed in a project-based experience where they learned the art of filmmaking. On the camera. Page 14, scene 9, take 2. The first leg of their journey of becoming filmmakers was an audition at the Beacon Theater. My mom was like, hey, try something new, try something new. So I went and I was like, I would just help with auditions. I wasn't really going to be on the crew, I was just going to help with auditions. And I went and I was like, you know what, maybe I should audition. So I auditioned for crew because I'm not an actor. Well, we went to the auditions and I was just the doorkeeper at the Beacon and I didn't really get a chance to audition. So I asked my teacher if there was going to be another audition, and he said, I've worked with you, I know you, you're going to be perfect for this role, and that was really exciting. So I was like, well, maybe I want to be in it, but, you know, what if it takes up a lot of my time, you know, I got to do nothing, so, and I had to audition, and I got, I got a part, so. Yeah, that was my first time at the Beacon Theater. So, i never been inside of it, so I just thought it was cool to go in there since i never been inside of it. The auditorium was cool. It was pretty. That was exciting because I had, like I knew it was there, but I didn't, I've never been around it or in it. So just having the chance to be in there, like where people go to see actual shows, it was really exciting and a good opportunity. After the cast and crew were secured, the students had a rejurious two and a half week training period. The training included workshops in acting, lighting, sound, camera work, and storyboarding. In order to fully prepare the students for the task at hand, each workshop had three sessions. I feel like without the workshops, it would have been, like it wouldn't have been as good. It would have been disastrous. Well, I was part of the crew. I was a, one of the main camera persons. It's, it was a fun, it was a good experience, it really was. But producing is not easy. And you have to stay on task, can't get distracted or anything like that because it's serious and if something messes up, it, is, it falls on you. The responsibility does fall on you. I thought it was gonna be really hard and I wasn't gonna understand it. It was gonna take me forever and I was gonna mess up. But like the way Mr. Smith taught us, like it was really, like you understood it better and we did a lot of practices and run through it. So it was really, like once you got it down, like it was like, you know it for sure. Well, I was a sound person and I've never done sound, but it was a great experience. Well, when you see a movie, it's like, it's like they just put the focus on the actors. But now that I've been behind the scenes and all that, like I have more respect for people like the crew who do all that. Cause it's a lot of work and dedication. Well, I mean, it was exciting for me. It's something different uh, that I've never done before. I didn't expect to like it because I've always wanted to act, but I didn't know about the crew. So when I joined the crew and the sound, I mean, it was just new to me. And then I ended up liking it. You know, it, it's just so great to be able to work with so many people and create like this project that's gonna be shown at a theater, it's crazy. Well, at first I was just, uh, I just wanted to be a part of the project, so when I was anxious to be anybody, as long as I was involved, and it was just amazing, all the cameras, all the lights, getting to know my script and acting in front of the camera for the first time was really great. Okay, so when I showed up, I was not ready to be an extra in the movie. I showed up to be sound. Uh, it, it took a while, it was, it was like, take, stop, take, stop. Um, it was kind of nervous doing it, kind of, because I'm not that kind of person to be on camera. You know, you have to do a lot of facial expressions, and to be an extra, it's a lot more work than you think. You think you're just gonna sit in the back, do what you want. No, that's not what happens. You, they have close-ups on you. You have, you have to follow directions just like an actor does for that split second. 
After the training was complete, the next phase was filming. The students spent the next four weekends filming their movie in five different locations in and around the city of Hopewell. Well, I mean, it was tiring and waking up early in the morning and staying there for a lot of hours. Uh, but I got through it because it was fun for me. But I mean, when I got home, it was I was tired. I mean, the bopper scene did take a long time, but it was worth it because the shots came out good and the bopper's guy was really nice, like the manager. He gave us food and um, drinks and stuff, even though it was his day off. So, go to bopper's. And there were long days, you know, you get tired, you get irritated, you gotta redo everything like 10 times. You know, make sure everything is okay, but at the end of the day, it was, it turned out nice. Well, when you're with a, a good cast and everything like that, the time really does fly by. It's not really, uh, it doesn't, the time, you really can't tell what's going on. And sometimes, and sometimes it gets wild, and sometimes it's strictly organized. You know exactly what you're doing. It's fast paced, and it just, it's a really awesome experience. And the cast was awesome. We had, uh, Boppers was excellent, the man who there, it was just, they made sure that we had everything we needed, the props and all, so it made the experience, it was welcoming, so yeah, it made the experience good. It was long, it was a long day, and it was hot, but it was worth it, because the shots looked amazing. Yeah, I thought, it, I thought, actually thought it was really cool how we, we people were so generous and so welcoming to what we were doing. You know, people were just encouraging us. It was very, um, it was very helpful and it was very nice how people are just welcoming to some help of kids that go to high school. And you know, yes, with the locations and everything, it was really nice. After filming was complete, the students walked away with once in a lifetime experience and history was made in Hopewell. I felt like, I felt good to actually experience something new with um, that, seeing how everyone contributed and stuff. And it really, really was an honor to actually be in it. So even if you do mess up, you have to learn how to correct yourself, how to take criticism. And then once you get, take that criticism, you have to apply it to your acting. And then um, you just have to make sure that you are doing what you need to do. Be prepared, because like, there's gonna be difficulties like people aren't gonna show up. You might not get everything that you need done that day. So then you'll probably have to come back the next day and it's, it's be prepared. Making this movie has been such a great experience and I just, I would love to do it again sometime. At my heart, it's one morning I came late and I feel so bad, but I still came because it's the thing about people are falling on you. Everybody has a part that they have to uphold that makes the process work. And if I didn't show up, then I wasn't even sure if there was gonna be sound. So you had to hold your part. I said I was coming, I came. Um, me and my friend Victoria, we are gonna do, a, or try to do a short film for um, the film festival. I really hope that it comes out good because we're not professionals and we're not, I mean, I'm trained more than she is. But like, with what we, <laughs> with what we have to work on, it's it's gonna be kind of hard. It's gonna be harder than we think it's gonna be. That's that's just what I'm gonna say. It gives me a sense of what it would be like when I do get older. It's a good preparation process for when I do get out in the world and you know, in the real world after I get out of high school and everything, go to college. It's a good uh, yeah preparation process for my adulthood or adult life.